Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And welcome to day one of the 21 days of prayer and fasting, for it is time for revival in the house of God, precious saints. But today's day one is reading of the scripture of the uh, the book uh, of the scripture that we have got there in context for us to read and also understand the revival stories. But today I want to read from the scripture according to Second Peter one verses twenty one. It says, "For prophecy never came by the will of man, but the Holy." men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen. When God is speaking to us, when God is speaking to the church, He will use vessels that have been set aside, vessels of honor, vessels of honor to bring forth a message. Hallelujah. Now, some of you may say, well, look, the gift of prophecy, what such a lovely gift. Let me tell you, but the servants of God and those prophets of the Old Testament, maybe they never knew knew that what they were doing was going to bring about the talk that we talk about them today. Maybe they didn't realize that they would be used to such an extent when they were in the midst of speaking that truth. Let me tell you today, there is not enough truth sayers today, but rather we have people on social media that are more interested in you clickbaiting or them speaking about things that are true trending rather than being inspired by the Holy Spirit, rather than holy men of God speaking what God is speaking within this hour. Let me tell you, when God is speaking to us, we go against the trend. We go against the, the river where everyone is going in one direction. What we will say may not be popular with today's status quo, but when God speaks, let me tell you that heavens shake and something happens, somebody say hallelujah. God is speaking in this hour and He's saying for us to wake up in this hour because God wants to speak through us. God wants to bring about revival within our personal lives. God wants to bring a change so that we can see God move in such a a degree that we've never even seen before. Somebody say amen. We can see throughout Scripture, we see these heroes of faith that have gone before us, not just those of the Old Testament, but the fathers of faith that have gone before us that saw God move in such a way that there was power, that there was glory, that there was the anointing, that Jesus Christ was lifted up. Hallelujah. We want to see those things and maybe those heroes of faith. Maybe those people that have gone before us, precious saints, maybe they didn't realize or didn't understand at their time that they were even heroes. Maybe they were setting out. Maybe they were speaking against the things that are taking place within their time. And God is also raising up such people like you and me, not to go with the grain, not to go with the trends, but rather to speak out the truth in this hour like never before somebody say amen. See, biblical prophets were God's mouthpieces, not spouting their own opinions, but in holy submission to the Word of God. Somebody say, Amen. These prophets' primary concern was not them predicting the future. Instead, their primary focus was to bring accountability to the believers of Yahweh. The challenge that these prophets brought often consisted of a message of repentance from idolatry or or exposing anything that was taking place that wasn't faithful towards the covenant of God. Somebody say amen. When you are speaking God's word, it may not be popular with the way everyone else is going, but let me tell you, God has your back. God has your back and your cover on every side. Somebody say amen. See, the calling of truth telling and bringing 
seeing accountability is not for the faint hearted, precious saints. And even though today we may have all these slogans that we see on bumper stickers, we may have all these slogans even on t-shirts or even on coffee mugs, they didn't just come any nilly way, but rather men of God and the heroes of faith, they were faithful to the call of what God was telling them to speak at that particular time that may have not been popular with everyone around them, but they spoke the truth. Because let me tell you, as we are saying, the calling of truth telling and bringing accountability is not for the faint hearted. Somebody say amen. God wants to raise up truth tellers within this hour. God wants those to tell those people that need to repent to repent because the kingdom of God is living inside of you and Jesus Christ is going to come back soon one day, precious saints, and we must be ready for that day. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. So we see throughout the Word of God, we see that the New Testament prophecy is marked by edification of the body of Christ. But the purpose of drawing us closer to the divine, biblical, revealed Christ Jesus, that is the hope of all glory that lives within inside of us. God is still speaking through His prophets. God is still speaking through the body of Christ, not just to bring edification, but also also to bring correction where correction is needed within this hour like never before, precious saints. The Bible says, according to the Word of God, in Micah 6, 8, He has shown you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. God wants us to walk humbly with Him. He wants us to act like Him, to be like Him, precious saints, that we may be the reflection of Christ to this world, not just to be a popular trend, not just to be a clickbait, but rather to see God move in this hour, that we may see genuine revival like never before, that God will speak through holy men, that will speak on His behalf, not what they want, not what we want, but rather what God wants in this hour. And I believe that God is preparing a bride in this hour. He is preparing you. He's preparing me. He is calling out. There is a clarion call going out across the globe at this particular time, saying it's time to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. That is the message that's missing in this hour. That is the message that we need in this hour, precious saints. So what area can you advance in today? What is God calling you do today? Do you need to address any unjust actions within your life, precious saints? Is mercy your companion, precious saints? Perhaps you are merciful and acting acting justly, but you are not humble about it, precious saints. Allow the Spirit of God to speak to you today to transform your heart. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that these words will be like fire on our souls today as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ as this is day one of the prayer and fasting if you haven't joined yet you can join it's never late because God wants you to participate God wants to see breakthrough within your life but most importantly that you may be on fire for him in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ somebody say amen talk about revival It is time for revival in the house of God. God can use any willing vessel, precious saints, within this hour. God can use any willing vessel within this hour. As we have gone through day one, we have looked at the dean of the Bible college that was sent to that youth prison to be able to preach the gospel, though he was frightened, though he was frightened, though he wasn't really accepted initially. But when he started to preach the Word of God, it started to transform the hearts of the prisoners. There was a a revival that took place within that prison. And within a short period of time, as those prisoners started to read the Word, 
Word of God and pray each day. They were transformed by the renewing of the mind, precious saints. They were transformed. They were drawn closer to God and they never re-offended. They got out of that place and then started to bear witness to other prisoners and to those out into the community. And there was a transformation that took place. God can bring a revival to us too. He is looking for such vessels. Maybe you're not seen by much in this world, but God sees what's going on in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right, because God is looking. He will take the weak. He will take the poor. He will take the unknown and those who are nothing but to shame the wise, to humble the proud and to pull down the mighty. It demonstrates the transforming possibility of the Spirit's movements for individuals, for families, for churches and for communities. Revival is going to come and it starts with you. It starts with me. And He is looking for those foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Somebody say, Amen. We can ask God for a great harvest as we pray, precious saints. We can believe God also, precious saints. He is able to do far more than anything that we ask about, anything that we think about. We've just got to believe that God can do the impossible. Hallelujah. We can commit our ways to God, who is the Lord of the harvest, and He will bring in that harvest, precious saints. The harvest is ready, but the labors are few. You are one of those labors He is calling in this hour. He you are one of those laborers that He is preparing in this hour as we prepare for His coming. He is saying, I'll choose you to reach out to those that you know, to warn them of what's coming, to warn them of the end times that we are living in now. These are not the days that we lived in previously, but God is saying we are not to go with the trend of this world. Rather, we need to be different. We need to be moved by God, holy vessels that are moved by God to speak on His behalf what God is saying to the church in this hour and God is speaking to you God is waking you up God is calling you to join into this fire to be able to uh, be satisfied to be able to be sanctified set apart for a holy work that God has your name on it precious saints he is calling you today I want to ask you this question have you asked God have you asked God to transform you? Have you asked God to give you the gifts that you need to fulfill the call upon your life? Ask Him today. God can use anybody. He says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open to you. God wants to open doors for you. God wants you to seek Him like never before with all of your heart, precious saints. How can you step out and even practice what God is going to gift you with? You've got to stir up that gift just as Paul said to Timothy stir up that gift as God gives you as the Holy Spirit gives to you according to his perfect will allow him to give unto you all that God has for you you've got to ask him today you've got to ask God whatever you're doing in this hour don't do it without me don't pass me by but God use me in this hour I want to see revival I want to see it start with me I want to see it spread to my family I want to see it spread to my community, to my church and everywhere, wherever it is, my nation. Oh God, whatever you're doing in this hour, don't do it without me, oh Lord. Oh God wants to use such a person like you. Maybe you're the foolish things of this world, just as it says in 1 Corinthians 1 27. God chooses what is foolish in this world to shame the wise. God chooses what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chooses what is low and despised in this world so that the things that are not to reduce the things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. God wants somebody just like you, precious saints. God wants to stir up somebody just like you. He doesn't want you to go with the trend of this world or the trend of this or the trend of that, but rather for us to go against the grain, for other us to live as Jesus called us to live, holy and set apart. The Spirit of God is holy. He is holy, precious saints, and He is calling us to live holy and to be holy as He is holy. That's what the Bible says, holy, holy, holy. 
Holy is the Lord God Almighty. He is calling us to be set apart in this hour. I encourage you within this hour as we start day one to set aside your time and say, God, whatever you're doing in this hour, don't do it without me. Don't, don't, don't pass me by, Lord. Don't pass me by, but I want to be what you want me to be. Oh God, you're the God of the breakthrough and you're going to bring a breakthrough. There's going to be a breaker anointing around you as you participate. Precious saints, it's time to press in like ever before, like never before to press into God because He wants to know you. Yes, that's what the Bible says. We are to know God and He wants to know you, precious saints. Oh Lord, I pray for each person as they participate in this fast. Draw them closer to you. Draw them closer to you as they seek you more each day in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person. Lord, I pray for each person that is listening today under the sound of this voice. I pray for the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage. Lord, I pray that the yoke that is around their necks shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ as they come to you, as they put down all their burdens as they put down and cast all their cares upon you, Lord, because you care about them. You care about their situation and you're going to bring change. But Lord, it's going to require us to also submit to you so that we can resist the devil and he will flee from us, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we draw near to you that you will draw nearer to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray also for you will gift your people. Lord, that you've said in your word that your spirit gives without gives sparingly to anyone it chooses according to His perfect will. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit to be imparted upon Your people today. Lord, that they will start to move and pour into a supernatural boldness. Let that flow upon them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them to also walk in mercy and to walk in love and the forefront of their mind. Let it be to live a daily sacrifice for You. Come and touch Your people. Come and use them today in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth Western Australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today we encourage you subscribe to the YouTube channel you can also follow us on Rumble Facebook or Instagram go to our free website repentancerevival.com Precious Saints this is day one of 21 days fasting you can start now it's never too late to fast it's never too late to press in to see what's going on God knows what's going on in your life and He can bring that change put aside all your cares put aside all your worries and say, God, I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but God does. And He's going to bring your breakthrough. All you need to do is submit and be obedient to join into this call of this fast right now in Jesus' name. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.